on bathroom vanities. Find dozens of vanities in stock, on sale, and ready to display in your home. Visit our showroom for the best savings of the year. To help remodel your home, Handyman. A new way for students to get health care. We'll take a look at why some schools are turning to telemedicine. Crews are setting the stage for the Stanford International. We'll show you which parts of the course they're focusing on as the tournament approaches. A way for you to help homeless animals in the area. Kelloland's Max Hofer will take a look at the impact Kelloland's pet food drive can have and how you can get involved. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll get to your top news stories in just a bit. But first, let's get a check on our Labor Day weekend forecast with meteorologist Brian Carstens. All right. Yes, indeed. The Labor Day forecast upon us. Looks like it's going to start off a little wet here, especially in western Kelloland. That's our focus right now for showers the next few hours. Kind of drifting into the pier area, too. We've had uh, temperatures here this morning quite cool. In fact, uh, 40 degree weather pretty common in northeastern Kelloland. You can see the hour by hour showing those showers in western South Dakota drifting to the southeast. Sioux Falls area. Most likely we'll miss that, but there could be some rain there around, let's say, Platte, maybe Yankton at 2 o'clock, a couple of showers in there, and then we'll also regroup and see more rain tonight. In fact, thunderstorms could bubble up in the Black Hills. That could be important. We'll track the complete forecast in just a few minutes. Thanks, Brian. Right now, you have the opportunity to help out animals in need. The Kelloland Pet Food Drive is officially underway. Let's send it out to Kelloland's Max Hofer for details on the drive. That's right, you too. I'm out here in front of our very own Kelloland Studios, where just this morning, right after the 7 o'clock hour, we received already nine bags of Purina dog and cat food. That's right, the drive goes all morning. Last year, we were, at, we were able to actually fill the entire wall with over 7,000 pounds of food. And so uh, last year, that's how much we were able to raise. And the items they're looking for are Purina dog food. But if you have any other dog food, any other items, cat food, whatever you want, you can bring them right here. They're also looking for items such as like leashes, clickers, newspaper, anything to benefit the shelter overall. And so all morning, members of Kello and the Humane Society will be working together to help unload your cars and count the bags of dog foods. All you got to do is just drive up right here, and they'll take time unloading, greet you. And now uh, to get a check on how the day is going to be, I will toss it over to Brian Karstens for weather. All right. Thanks a lot, Max. Some schools in Kello Land are in desperate need of school nurses. That's right. That's why some districts are turning to telemedicine for help. Avera eCare is a telehealth program for, uh, that offers nursing services to schools that don't have a nurse available on site. This school year, Brandon Valley School District is piloting the Avera eCare program at Valley Springs Elementary School. The need is there, and uh, schools want to do the right thing for their kids and have, make it so the safest place so that they can have access to the nurse. Right now, 36 schools in North and South Dakota use Avera eCare. For the past two years, we've been following the incredible story of Trenton Bass, the young athlete who became paralyzed after a hit on the football field. Tonight, we have the next chapter in his life, and it involves special training for both him and his new dog. Trenton has a new service dog who is still in the process of getting certified. But Trenton is doing a little training of his own. He's learning how to drive in a specially equipped van made just for him. Watch students in training on tonight's Eye on Kelloland at 10. Construction workers are digging deep into their toolkits before golfers pull clubs out of their bags at the Sanford International. Crews will soon put finishing touches on the skyboxes and chalets at Minnehaha Country Club ahead of next month's tournament. They're looking to add more spectator space as well as concession areas. The nice summer weather has helped keep the project on pace to finish before the start of activities next month. We are 100% confident we'll be in great shape. We've had great weather, and uh, so that helps too. So it's been fairly dry and allows us to get a lot of stuff done that otherwise is a little harder. Crews are also checking out areas on the golf course where they can install more porta potties for spectators. The tournament kicks off September 16th. Brian? All right, very good forecast here as we get started for this weekend. We're off and running in showers in western South Dakota. You can see that on future scan throughout the day. I would uh, put those rain chances highest here around Chamberlain in winter. Not heavy rain, but showers. And I think that for the uh, later part of the day, 
Even Sioux Falls could get clipped to the southwest by some sprinkles, but we'll regroup tonight and you'll see more showers and thunderstorms in western South Dakota. The overnight is probably your best shot at rain as this gets going there along the Missouri River Valley. And Sioux Falls area Saturday morning looks wet, at least wet enough to yeah, make it a bit hard to get outside for that time frame. I do think through the day, though, yeah, the clouds will probably hang around Sioux Falls much of the day. West River, though, looks fine and uh, sunshine. And in fact, even into the 80s. And I think we'll get warmer as we get into Sunday as we turn this pattern around a little bit. Rainfall projections through Saturday. Many areas will be under a half an inch of rain. There will be spots along the Missouri River Valley that will probably, though, get to that level. But flooding heavy rain is not in the forecast. We do see warming temps, though, by Labor Day, 84 in Sioux Falls. We may slip next week a little bit, mid and upper 70s, with some chances of scattered showers. I'm also thinking Aberdeen will get some scattered rain possibilities there by Tuesday and Wednesday. But leading into that, at least it's pretty good timing there to get some hotter weather for Labor Day. 89 in Pier. It looks like our forecast could even touch the 90 degree level in Rapid City before a chance of rain returns Tuesday into Wednesday, guys. Thanks, Brian, and thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.